Ooh, boo, 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 boo. That's the best I can do. Talking about X Files and the new shows have come back on Fox. They came on Sunday night after the Carolina Panthers won their game, so they're going to the Super Bowl. And I have to admit. I thought the game ended with, with three minutes to go. I said, oh, great, we can go right to X-Files, and they had to do 25 minutes of football. Hey, I can't hate on them. You know? I mean, they do pay for it, uh, so you had to wait. So it came on 25 minutes late, ended five minutes, you know, 25 minutes late or whatever, but it was a wonderful first show. I can't believe that there were some people who didn't like it, and my thought was it had to be people who weren't used to the show, had no idea what some of the canon was, you know, all the stuff that had happened before. Because those of us, anyone I've talked to who used to watch X-Files back in the day, absolutely loved this show. And you had part one on Sunday and part two on Monday night. And I keep trying to figure out how that was actually a two-parter because they didn't address anything in the second show that they talked about in the first show. I, I, I don't quite understand that. The only thing I can think of is that they spent the first show basically bringing back characters that we remembered, which is obviously Fox Mulder, Dana Scully, uh, uh, Skinner, Cigarette Smoking Man, although we only got him at the end, uh, sticking, having someone stick a cigarette into his windpipe. <laughs> that was the sickest thing I could think of, <laughs> at least in the first show. Um... And then, you know, they basically spent all that time talking about all the stuff about aliens, uh, basically trying to take over the world was kind of a conspiracy that, um, in essence, the old guard had basically got the alien from Roswell and got all this technology and built all this stuff, and they'd been trying to set people up to take over the world with all these different conspiracy things and all this. It, it, it was amazing. I mean... If you are a conspiracy theorist, and I'm not, but if you were, you had to look at this thing and say, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, that's the government trying to do us in. And everything was blamed on the syndicate. It was fantastic. I don't know who the young lady was who said that she thought she had alien technology or alien DNA. Hold on. <clears throat> that's what happens when you do videos live. Every once in a while, <laughs> you just got to get a drink of water. I don't know who she was, but she was absolutely stunning. And she thought she had alien DNA. And it turns out she really did, but Scully had a little bit of jealousy thing. And that actually comes from that second movie that uh, came out for X-Files that a lot of people didn't like. I liked it, uh, just because it didn't have aliens or whatever. It was, you know, basically a show, um, only it was extended. And, uh, you know, at that time they were a couple, and so they've kind of broken up here and gone their own separate ways, but now they've come back. And, you know, so she was jealous of the pretty young lady, you know, okay, she was hot. <laughs> and then the second show basically just carried through on the government experimenting on people. And this guy basically had experimented on his own kids and all these other kids. And I have to tell you the truth. I am kind of a squeamish guy at, at times. So when they went walking and they were showing these disabled kids, uh, not disabled, what, let's see, what do you call it? These kids with these genetic mutations, I basically said, oh, no, oh, no, I'm taking my glasses off. And I can't see pretty much anything without my glasses. So I could see basically fuzzy things, whatever, but I knew none of it was going to be pretty. <laughs> so I just didn't see it. I didn't care. I didn't want to see it. I took no chances until I knew after they had done a little interview with one of the kids and things started going wacky and they went back to normal stuff. And I said, okay, great. Now I can look again, because I was not looking at any of, the, any of the weird stuff. And I got to tell you, the second show was a lot like all the old shows in the past. And, you know, this is only a six-episode arc. And it's really supposed to be, I guess, basically showing us what the government has been doing uh, in experimenting against us, or the people, and, you know, trying to do these conspiracies, trying to do all this stuff. And I thought they were both very well done, but I still missed, you know, the connection between the first and the second. To me, those were just basically two standalone shows, almost like the very beginning, the very first shows that ever came on, where the very first one was about aliens, and then the second one had nothing to do with aliens. And back then, of course, you wondered, okay, I'm not sure, you know, really what's going on, because I had thought the entire series was basically going to be about aliens. I love stuff like that. But I, you know, I loved X-Files back then. I love X-Files now. Um, so, 
you know, if they brought back the cigarette smoking man, my thing has been you got to bring back the three gunmen or the lone gunmen. You got to bring those guys back. I mean, they were supposedly killed off, but, you know, Cigarette Smoking Man was supposed to be blown up by a nuclear missile, and he survived. So if he survived that, then these guys got to come back. I'm, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that they get to come back. And I don't know if we're going to have any other bad guys here. You know, maybe Krychik will show up. If you remember Krychik, um, that would be cool if he actually shows up doing something. Uh, he basically was the hitman for the syndicate. Then they took a hit out on him, and who knows what happened. Uh, there was another guy in the last couple of seasons who was on the show. Um, the only reason I can't really remember his name, I never remember his name, but I remember he was in Independence Day, and he was also in a movie way back when uh, where he protected this kid from a bully. Um, so that's all I know. I don't, I don't really know his name, but he was prominent in some of the later shows. And so it would be interesting if he comes back. Uh, the lady who used to play Xena, boy, I'll tell you, you get to your 50s, you just don't remember people's names. Then again, I never watched Xena, so, you know, why would I be expected to know her name? And I don't watch Game of Thrones, so I'll, there you go. Linda something, that's the best I got. Uh, but anyhow, she was in a bunch of shows, so you never know if some of those folks will come back. I'm not really sure what the direction of the show is going to be as it moves into the last four episodes, but I know that I will be there. Want to know how strong it is? I'm giving up wrestling for the four weeks so I can basically watch this. Okay, I could record it, but what's the point? John Cena's not wrestling right now, so I don't care. Anyway, I was also going to do a thing where I was going to try to name my top five or my favorite five episodes of X-Files. And once I started going down the list, I realized, you know what, there's no way in the world I can limit it to five. It just wasn't going to happen. So basically, I will say the very first episode, the last two episodes, which was a two-parter, and the movie Fight the Future. You know what, I'm going with those three. And if you guys have your favorites, let me know what they are. Let's talk about it. I will tell you the two I never saw, by the way, because I watched every show except two. One had to do with the roaches. Mitchell doesn't do bugs. I certainly wasn't watching that one. And one had to do with the freaks. I don't do freaks. So I didn't watch that one. So if those are your favorites, then you know what? You just got those as your favorites. I can't even talk about them. But any of the others, let's talk. Anyhow, Mitch Mitchell talking X-Files. I'm not going to do the sound again because I don't want to embarrass myself. Hope you all are there next Monday. Let me know your thoughts. Talk to you later.